Hey guys, this is Katie Mile. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Money Minute, coming into your inbox every Friday. So if you read last week's newsletter, you may have seen the Money Challenge of the Week at the very bottom of the newsletter. And last week's question was all about answering the question of what would you do? What would you do if you were walking in a parking lot and you happened to look down and you saw a penny on the ground? Would you pick it up? Would you keep walking? Just what would you do? So now taking whatever you would do and thinking about that for a second, let me tell you a quick story. So when I was a little girl, I used to run a bunch of errands with my mom, right? We go to the grocery store, we go to the dry cleaners, all the typical errands that parents are always dragging their kids on. And one of the things that my mom used to do whenever we were in a parking lot, she would be scanning the ground just like this, like almost all the time. And every now and then she'd go, oh my goodness. And she'd lean down and she'd pick up a penny. Now, it was usually pennies. Every now and then we'd luck out and get a nickel or a dime or sometimes even a quarter. <sighs> big, big fun day when that happened. So when I was a little, little kid, I loved playing this game with my mom and I would play along joyously, always scanning the ground, looking for loose change. But as I grew older, especially getting into middle school and high school, I kind of became a little too cool for school and I would get so embarrassed. And sometimes I'd go, oh my God, mom, Mom, stop, just stop, what are you doing? Like, we don't keep going, we don't need it, okay? Like, we're not poor or something. And I remember looking at my mom and saying that, and I'll never forget her reaction. She stopped dead in her tracks in the middle of the parking lot, and she looked at me and she said, Katie, I don't care if it's a penny, I don't care that it's one cent, it's money. It is free money, and it is a sign from the universe that there's abundance and prosperity coming our way. Who am I to pass that? Why on earth wouldn't I pick up free money? You know, I've always thought about that story. All these years later, I still think about that sometimes. Now, maybe you're, maybe like the universe talk, maybe it's a little too woo woo. Maybe it's a little too out there for you. So if that doesn't quite work for you, think about it like this instead. Have you ever wanted something and suddenly when you decide in your mind, like this is what I want, I'm thinking about buying this thing, Suddenly you see it everywhere, right? Let me tell you what's going on in the mild household right now. Okay, my husband, Andy, is obsessed with the idea of getting a truck. Like obsessed with it. We talk about it all the time lately because Andy desperately wants a truck. Now, I'm not much of a car person in general. It's just who I am. It's cool if you like them, just not my thing. But let me tell you, all the time now, I see trucks everywhere. I see them all the time. I see Ford F-150s, I see Toyota Tundras, I see trucks everywhere. And in my husband's quest to become some great Western Colorado rancher, now he's got me on this bandwagon. And suddenly, vehicles I never used to notice, I see them everywhere. So what's the deal? What's happening there? Is, is it somehow like all of a sudden the universe heard, oh, the Miles want a truck, cue more trucks on the road. Of course not, they've been there the whole time. But now that I'm tuned into it, and now that we've created an intention of, yeah, we're probably gonna get a truck at some point, suddenly I'm noticing the clues. I'm noticing the hints, and they're all around us. The same thing happens with your money. When you decide you're going to be attuned to what's going on, when you decide that you're going to focus on it, make it a top priority in your life, when you decide that it's going to become a focus, suddenly you see opportunities everywhere. You'll see opportunities to increase your income, opportunities to look at your expenses a different way, maybe cut back on some unnecessaries. Suddenly, you will see opportunities to grow not only your day-to-day -day budget, but ultimately your net worth. So let me tell you this now. Now knowing that, when you see a penny on the ground, are you going to stop and pick it up and say, thank you so much for this free money, for this free abundance, or are you going to keep walking? I suggest that you definitely lean down and pick it up and put out a big fat thank you. Thank you so much, whoever sent this penny. So that's all from me. Enjoy the rest of the newsletter. You know, if you're listening to this on my YouTube channel, definitely hit subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get alerts for whenever I post a new video. And use the comments below. Tell me what other content you wanna see. I'm always listening, I'm always here. Have a great weekend, everybody.